ಸದಾಶಿವಸಮಾರಂಭಾ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಮಧ್ಯಮ ಅಸ್ಮದಾಚಾರ್ಯಪರ್ಯಂತ ವಂದೇ ಗುರುಪರಂಪರ ಐ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈ ಲವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫ್ಯೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಟಿಲ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ಆನ್ ಕೈಲಾಶ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ವಿತ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಪಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಲಾಶ್ ಯಾತ್ರ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಐ ವಾಂಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ಗೈಸ್ ಟು ನೋ ಕೈಲಾಶ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಅ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಬೈ ದ ಕಾಸ್ಮಾಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೀ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕೈಲಾಶ್ ಯಾತ್ರ ಮೈ ಶೈನಸ್ ಟು ಟಾಕ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ರೆಸ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟಿಕಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಹಸ್ ಡಿಸಪಿಯರ್ಡ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಶೈನಸ್ ಸಿ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ರೀಲಿ ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಯೋಗ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಟು ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಮೆಡಿಟೇಷನ್ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೀಮ್ ಜ್ಯೂಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಸ್ಟಮಕ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಹೀಲ್ಡ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಐ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಬಿ ವೆರಿ ಈಸ್ ಕಂಫರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಅನ್ ಕ್ಲಚ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಯುವರ್ ಥಾಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಔಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಡಿಪ್ರೆಷನ್ ಡೂ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಯೋಗ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಪೇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಾಜಿಕಲ್ ಐ ನೆವರ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಫೀಲ್ ಶೈ to talk about logical things but i always used to have certain kind of a shyness to talk about mystical before talking about the mystical things i look around whether all the people are the people who are feeling connected with me will they respect what i am uttering i'll see all this usually before i start talking about mystical my shyness to express mystical things has disappeared even when people levitate when i make people levitate when i avak and their kundalini when i materialize i look around and see whether at least majority are people who are feeling connected even the other few may not understand will not at least criticize i'll ensure i always feel shy to express this mystical things after seeing kailash i thought oh god what a wonder mysterious wonder is being expressed so physically plainly what a statement delivered by the cosmos in stone <laughs> kailash is a live telecast in high resolution of the ultimate mystery in stone here is mahadeva telecasting his mysterious glory live in stone that is why i am telling you kailash is not a place it is a statement my mahadeva it is a statement by mahadeva when you see kailash shiva is telling hey understand the extraordinary mystical glory of a guy who is residing in it it's a statement it is not just a place i will sincerely recommend anybody who has a eye to see even if you don't have legs hands you have only eyes nothing else is working don't miss seeing kailash i never thought in my life i will be forced to believe there is something more glorious than arunachala but i have to tell you i have to accept the truth because arunachala is placed geographically inside the country india i chose arunachala to take birth 
because politically conducive atmosphere religious ambience non interference of the political system into religion and anyway, you let me take this chance to greet all of you and convey my best wishes on 64th indian independence day today's the day india had independence from british but i wanted all of you to know still we have to go long way as a country we have done so many wonderful things but still we need to do many more things politically arunachal is in india which is more conducive place and people do live here transmission of knowledge is much easy that's the reason i chose arunachala if politically kailash was inside india the ambience was conducive no doubt i would have chosen kailash as i said it is a statement it is not just a place god it just penetrates you and fills you i'll really tell you if you have only eyes nothing else even then don't miss don't miss see kailash some of go there have darshan of kailash i tell you from my experience there was a time even i felt i may leave the body my body may not be able to handle it but i did not come back from kailash from my yatra i decided i'll write a, i'll make a will there is a video recorded will my will i only dictated my will but i decided i will only have darshan then i'll come back not before that i was ready to put my life and this huge sangha which is a consolidated energy of thousands of lives and future for millions of lives if not billions i was ready to put even at this even this at stake just for the darshan of kailash even now if i get 10 more days i'll feel like going on snow really the moment i came back first thing i told our administration team is a hey, work try to have some place in kailash because now the china government is open and it is allotted place for two hindu gurus already so we have decided of course mahadev has decided he has ordered his blessings we are going to have a pandya style kailashnath temple in kailash the stone deities of in pandya style 
There was a beautiful temple few thousand years ago in Kailash and some great saints and a king who went from Kanchipuram to Kailash to have darshan of Kailash Nata. They saw the temple. When they came back, they built the replica of the temple in Kanchipuram. So based on that replica, we will build the original temple back in Kailash. God. What a place. What a place. Now I know why thousands of seekers taking so much of struggle, suffering, go there. Of course, fortunately by divine grace, our group did not have any suffering. They don't even remember. They had even a small discomfort. And Mahadeva was always listening to our prayers. The moment I say open, the cloud opens and he gives darshan. And all I said is just for next three days till we go back, no cloud and no cloud. All those things I will describe later on. When I describe the whole itinerary with video recordings. What a place, God. It is a shameless statement by Mahadeva about his glory. That's the right word I will use. Shameless, mystical statement. Shameless bragging of his pride. <laughs> by Mahadeva. By Sadashiva. Otherwise, you can't express such a glory in stone. I want all of you to know, the center Kailash hill is a single stone. It is not the collection of sand, stone, and all that. No, it is a single stone. Single stone of that size. Standing, it has to be standing on only on stone. It cannot be standing on a sand. Because it will start sinking. Then the whole thing is stone. Means what is seen outside is only 20%. At least 80% is there inside as a foundation. Inside there is a huge city. It is a hollow hill. Inside there is a huge city in the fourth spectrum level. Means Turiya level. Where I saw Mahadeva in Samadhi with more than one lakh Jivan Muktas sitting in Samadhi around him, reflecting him, radiating. It is like an atomic power station. What a Glory. Rishis. Kinnara Kimburudas. Gandharva Yakshas. Bhakta Dasas. Siddha Yogis. Vedanta Sanyasis. Some of them, even from people who practiced other traditions, Appalum Adisarandar, 
means from Christianity, Islam, Buddhism, Jainism, Judaism, Gubera, Indra, Agni, Yama, Nairuti, Vayu, Varuna, Ishana, Kalabairava. All of them are just in Samadhi, in the eternal self-effulgence. Mahadeva and Devi, exactly as I sculpted as Anandeshwar Anandeshwari in our temple, just sitting the extraordinary glory shining. It is a formless self-effulgence, but expressing playfully in the form the glory. In my life, I never had tears of ecstasy in my eyes. Because Ramakrishna says only if in a small pond if elephant enters it will overflow. In ocean if elephant enters, ocean will not overflow. I always used to think I am a ocean. Any amount of ecstasy and emotion enters into me, never, I never overflow. Even enlightenment did not make me overflow. I said alright, get in. Next, even realizing I am an incarnation did not make me overflow. I said, okay, next. But this Kailash, first darshan, made me overflow. In Tamil, there is a beautiful verse. Kadalagi kasind kannir malgi Odu vardamai nannerikku uippadu Means in the extraordinary love Melting And tears flowing I don't know when the ecstasy happens How your body responds all the time, 24 hours, I am in that ecstasy. But never ever it overflowed in this body. It was literally like an ocean overflowing. Then what size elephant would have entered into that ocean? It's not just one dinosaur. Maybe one billion dinosaur put together. Something of that size, you imagine. How in the Hollywood movies they show huge animal walking on New York. And the whole New York looks very tiny under the nails and feet of that animal. Anaconda and all this. I think something of that size has entered into my ocean of emotion. My mother says she never remember me crying. I don't know when I took birth what I did. When I saw the Kailash, oh God, even if he is not having any shyness, even if he is so shameless to express his glory, so visibly, physically on the stone, why should I be shy just to shed few tears? From that moment, I lost all my shyness to express the extraordinary mystical glory and expression of mystical truths and mystical energies. It is not about the height of the hill, size of the hill. There are few hills immediately just opposite, taller than this hill. 
Actually, if you see this side of Manasarovar Kailash, this side of Manasarovar, Mandata Hills, where the Subramanya went and stood because he did not get the mangoes. It is not actually Parani Hills. It is originally that only. Later on, as a remembrance of that place, they created this Parani. Bogar went to China and saw the whole Kailash and remembered this story. Just as a memory of that story, he created Parani. Otherwise, how can small boy, just because he did not get a mango, come from all the way from there to here? Somebody asked me, maybe, maybe on his flight, peacock he came. No. When he left the Shiva, whatever was gifted by Shiva and Parvati, he left everything. Except the lion cloth, he left everything. He did not take any of his vehicles or peacock. He went by walk. So by walk, he can't cross more than Mandata hills. Small boy. You should be very practical. So he stood there only. After Arunachala, first time in my life, I fell flat in front of Kailash. Exactly the place where I had the first darshan. Immediately I fell. And I was literally feeling that I may start rolling on the ground. But I did not do. Fortunately, my shoes were too big. So they were not allowing my body to roll on the ground. Otherwise, I would have started rolling on the ground. God's word is too small to describe Kailash. You have to find some other word. You should go with the master. That's the truth. Another one thing. Because we saw, in Ashtapath we were sitting for eight hours. What we did, nobody knows. We have not done anything. Just sitting. We saw so many other groups, they come, they take photograph, spend five minutes, they get bored, even with God, and go back. I was telling our guys, yes, when you don't have a master, even with God, you will be bored in few minutes. First thing happened in me, because of Kailashis, all my shyness to express the extraordinary mystery in words and actions. The great extraordinary truths to express my sh shyness has disappeared. One lakh I am telling you just one lakh as a number, I am not able to conceive. So I am telling one lakh. At least one lakh. Jivan Muktas sitting in Samadhi. I always thought around my Samadhi, Mahasamadhi there, at least 10,000 Jivan Muktas should be sitting in Samadhi and radiating. I even planned center my temple around 10,000 temples. With the Jiva Samadhis of 10,000 Jivan Muktas at least. I even went to the place near Salem. Near Salem, they have done a, built a beautiful temple, Vinayaka Mission, Shivalayam. They have built, sent a huge Shivalinga temple and, the, and then 1,008 Shivalinga's temple they have built. I even went and studied the model, how it should be. Now then, I am coming up with my own model. 10,000 temples with Shivalingas and the proper place inside. As per the Tirumular. Tirumular is a great Siddha who gives a clear signs of how an enlightened master's Samadhi should be made. Jivan Mukta Samadhi should be made. A size 6 feet by 6 feet depth and 
it should be four feet by four feet he gives all the size and dimension and what should be filled and all that so with all the gap hole everything will be ready the moment they leave the body remove the shivalinga put them inside pack it and put the shivalinga again put the photograph over <laughs> like this 10000 jiva samadhis means 10000 mirrors reflecting the cosmic sun i used to think wow that is the way we should be sitting radiating energy so that whoever comes inside experiences an extraordinary spiritual awakening just not psychological transformation chemical change alchemical change in the brain should happen when they enter the energy field before they go out the alchemical change should happen in the brain i saw mahadev has done it with at least 1 lakh jivan muktas and by his grace now i got the whole blueprint how the whole thing should be done now the blueprint is ready actually i i would have built the temple and went and sat but i need 10000 people first that's why i am out <laughs> first let me create all these 10000 jivan muktas and make them all sit one by one one by one so that they don't come out ensure that 10000 jivan muktas are ready and the reflections are all proper then i'll go and sit so this will take at least 100 more years hmm? pa somebody asked me to sit to put your physical body in the around the master's physical body what will you do i'll say at least my 10 life i'll dedicate for that even if they say only 10 life if you live around him you will have the chance of physical body sitting next to his physical body i'll choose that i'll live 10 life and give up my 10 life just for that because i saw what a extraordinary living consciousness they are radiating god the moment i remember my throat gets choked all right today only teaser tomorrow i'll start let you all achieve experience live express radiate and share the eternal bliss nityananda thank you